hi everyone in this video we'll talk about how to simulate the stock price movement using the historical data so i will start uh, uh, with the yahoo finance website and let's say i'm looking at iim so if i click on this i'll get uh, this symbol and i can click on the historical data and then let's say i choose for five years of data so i say five years and i say done and then i say apply so when i do apply it will basically show me the whole data and i can actually download this data in an excel sheet so this is how the data will look like so let me zoom into it and now you can see i have date and all the prices at different dates so i can delete all of these i can choose just one uh, opening price and now what i'll do is i will calculate the daily changes uh, in the stock price so i'll call at call this one as change and that will be equal to log of today's price divided by yesterday's price and this is how it will go and i can double click click on it to get all the prices so if i go into the end i'll see that the last value will not work because we don't have any more data so i have to delete this one now the total number of point at this stage is 1257 and because the first row itself uh, is a label so i will call it as 1256 so what i will do now is i will create a random number so that random number will be r a n d between so basically it will give me a number between 1 and 1256 so now you can see how this works it is 615 i double click on it enter again 961 so it will give me a random number between uh, 1 and 1256 now i again select this double click and basically i get a lot of random numbers here so this is how i'll generate a random number now the idea is that i will use this random number so and then select this random number to choose a random change from this changes which happen in the history so let's say we call it random change so basically how it will work i'll say small and i will select this array so call this as uh, 1256 and uh, then i will select the random number so what it is doing is uh, for for in this example so it will use this array and took the take the 943rd number when these changes are uh, in the ascending order so if i double click on this i'll see that this numbers are changing but i have to put a dollar mark here because i don't want the reference to change and now you can see this is how the random change will look like now once we have the random change now the fun part will begin we will s simulate the price so how it will start so we'll start with the today's price and then we'll say that the new price will be equal to today's price multiply with exponential of the random change and now you can see that if i double click on it this will give me the price and if i plot this this is how this will look like so i think i did an error here so this one is correct so let me check here yes so it looks looks fine now so i'll click on this one and this is how the the chart will look like so i'll delete this and i can say access title vertical access title horizontal so this is the trading days and this one is the price so this is how the stock price looks like 
so please remember that this is not what is going to happen this is one of the odd which can happen right so if i double click on this and press again now this is another odd which can happen if i double click on this again and press enter now why i am getting this let me look into this so i'm getting this number i think i'm the random number should be selected between 55 so now if i do it again i do it again yes so this is how my price or different simulations will give me a different trend for the stock so you will say that if i if i can't predict the stock price then what's the point of the simulation so we will talk about this uh, for that thing we have to do several simulations together so right now i have divided this into three steps right so these are the three steps so i will convert this three steps into one step right so how will i convert that so first let's look at the uh, this formula so if i look at this formula i'm using e3 here so what i'll do is i'll copy the e3 formula and i'll paste it here so i'll say e3 for that i'll paste it here so this is how it will go it will say small and now this is how it looks like so i'll copy this all the way so now this is still working but i don't need e3 now so you can see that this is how it goes now if i look at this formula again i'm using d3 so what i'll do is i'll take the d3 formula and uh, i will copy that here and now if i click this still working i don't need d3 so now i have the price and i can copy this price here so this is how the price will look like now no border right now if i look at this so this is the initial price and this is the price formula and i'll make sure that i don't have everything is uh, fixed so so if i copy this formula again here it will give me yes this one is not fixed so i have to change this one i have to put a dollar sign here dollar and dollar now you can see if i copy this formula here then it will give me exactly the same simulation but with a different random numbers so so now if i say select data and i add and i add this one into it to 12.56 So you can see I have select data. Let me remove this and add it again and uh, Y value fifty six. So I got it. I was putting it as a series name, so that was my mistake. So now if I do this, I can see two curves here. So now if I do this, you can see that I have two simulations in the same graph. So what if we have many simulations like that? So how will I achieve that? I'll copy this and I paste it here again and let me zoom out and do several copy pasting like this so i'll say copy and paste and then i'll do copy and paste and i'll do one more copy and paste 
and one more copy and paste so now you can see that i have simulated the same curve several times now I, if i zoom out and uh, i select all this data from here to here now I, uh, once all the data is selected i'll click on insert and uh, i will say stack line graph line and if i delete this no it didn't work let me try this again insert yes so this one worked and uh, let me zoom back now if i zoom into this graph this is how the graph looks like now this is the same graph but many simulations instead of the simulations we had and let me delete this one now what's the idea so the idea is that if you look here now let's see if, you, if i click on this one and press enter again all the simulations will repeat and uh, and i'll get an entirely different curve if i do this again all the simulations will repeat and i'll get a different numbers now why uh, this is uh, uh, important so the idea is that if you look at this chart so i think it's the computational power is not that much there so it's it's a bit slow but if if you look at this chart now we started with a similar price of around 15 on on day one right now if you look at after suppose 317 days so in 317 days this stock price can go either to 10 or 20 right so you can see that there is a range we are talking about but now if i go to 633 days that thing will change either to 8 or it can go to 20 right and if you are looking at five years total like around 1200 days then it will give me uh, the stock price from six to maybe 25 so we have the range so now if you are writing a call or a put option you know the likelihood of where the stock price is going to go so if we are talking about put option uh, for 317 trading days we know that after 10 it is not very likely that it will go anywhere so so therefore put at 10 should not hold a lot of value and similarly call at 20 should not hold any value for this time period but it does hold value when it goes to the five year range so this uh, data although these are only few simulations we need to do a lot many simulations to get a very accurate result here uh, this is just a example but from this data we can get the range where stock can go and from that we can calculate the value of the options or even assess our risk associated with the stock based on pure historical data um, again anything can happen to stock the company can shut down or something can some drastic political event can happen that can result in a drastic change but that this simulation is based on what happened in past five years so based on that this is what we get so i hope this video helps and uh, if you have any comments please let me know or if you would like me to make any kind of video related to stock pricing please let me know and i can work on it so 